receiver set. Pump fake. And he goes underneath to David Porter in Lawrence. Again, they go with the out pattern to Porter, and they missed the opportunity of the tackle, and that's when they'll burn you. David Porter. Looking back, Kansas's defense has either forced a three and out or a turnover in five and nine games. So, so far, TCU winning the battle of first possessions. And again, a good quality. Aaron Green checks back into the game, and they play fake it to him. Boykin, outside the tackle box, throws. Quick cross right to his man, Slanina. Touchdown. Scintillating for 66 of those yards. And here's the kick. Coming down to Ja'Cory Shepard inside his five. Another one of those. Yeah, and I like it with Florida State being undefeated, being in the number two spot. I don't like seeing the number three. There's Green taking the swing pass. He is out. But Aaron Green can State. do the job. You know, he's, he's not, that is not the top end speed that BJ Catalan does, but he's still very effective. Over the middle they go, and it's caught by Emmanuel Porter. And the fresh Sonny Cumbie and Doug Meacham, the co-coordinators, have the motors running right now, trying to move as fast as possible here as one. Everyone's covered up, and that's when this guy, the former running back, can show you his talent. And does he have... Dotson and Porter now to the bottom of your screen. They're going to give it to Green. He negotiates to about the hill. Nothing to really compare that to the, the, the way he plays the game of football. Third and two. That pass was deflected a bit, but still caught by Jawan. That's the enemy of TCU, right? They want to get on the field and play a bunch of plays. Oh, that's picked off by Shepard. Touchdown, Kansas. Illegal substitution. Defense. Five-yard penalty. And Gary Patterson was right on it, well, too. He, right down there was where I saw two guys come in the same vicinity. And you're going to see Greg Allen run back off the field. The ball's already snapped. Yep. And that's one you really can't miss. No, and, and the hard thing, it's tough to grip the football, so a lot of times that ends up being an accurate passing. There they go on the go route for Dotson. Well, that's a beautiful catch. It there you go, the quick screen, bubble screen variety to Aaron Green. Tied first quarter. Tim Brady, back to you. Should be a very tough defensive game between those two. Going deep for Hissenby. That's under thrown. Could be intercepted. Ja'Cory Shepard has it. <laughs> I give uh, Hissenby credit. He did all he could to switch roles and become a defender there. Not as good at completing some of those intermediate passes, some of those curl routes, the in routes, things of that nature. Swinging out to Green. Boy, they're talking about another third and one. They've missed on a few fourth and ones. Low snap. And an ad lib job that leads to him. He's very confident in his ability. Look how far he's come. They go fade to the corner. Incomplete. Intended for Jawan. And he said, you know, we just didn't know what we had in Boykin. So Boykin trying to utilize the high. is caught to play Minnesota until today is paying some dividends. Ja'Cory Shepard is back deep. He'll take it at the two-yard line. Yes, and he steps out. Just a stop here, Green Fan. A huge effect on this game. Second down and a yard. Javon Boykin running out of time. Gets it to his man, David, to TCU offense. Empty backfield. That pass is thrown and caught. And he's turned into an, a big pass rusher in the Big 12. And you look at his ability to get to the quarterback and force fumbles. Oh, there's some pressure. He gets it to Kyle Hicks. Open spaces for number 21. He's inside the five and down to on the bunch. They'll probably try to work some sort of pick right here. They go option. Easy pickings. Touchdown, Aaron Green. A block on 57, Jake Love. Ja'Cory Shepard's in man-to-man -man coverage. So he's going to run with them. And it's too late before he can recognize that it's a speed option to his side. Job of finding those matchups and utilizing them. Ja'Cory Shepard is back deep. From the eight-yard line. And if 
finally whistling down at the 27 yard line. Option play to Green. Boykin looking long. Listen, B. Incomplete. Had it knocked away late. Played downfield all day. Trevon Boykin threw a nice ball out in front of Colby Listenby, but Isaiah Johnson there and Ja'Cory Shepard was able to recover just in time to get on. And they're going to they're gonna call that up 90% of the time. 7 and 20. Boykin again stays poised, looking long for Dotson into double coverage. But Trevon Boykin responded and he's doing it again now. From the 36, first and 10. Kansas sidelines, Bowen calling the defensive signals, the head coach. And that pass is caught at the 25. Stains success over time here, and he believes he has the mixture, but it's a long-term package. They're coaching with the idea that they're going to be here a long, long time. Ja'Cory Shepard with the return. Uh-oh. If he can get that round, there goes a flag at the 22-yard line. I think we've got a block in the back. But, and this is a team that used to have to play the role of fly in the ointment. Now they're, they're, now they're one of the big boys. And leading the big boys in the Big 12. Ja'Cory Shepard just won't go down. Stays with it. Pass to the Kansas defense. Boykin again with plenty of time. Now running out. And is sacked with the good there. Green, oh, he busted the gap, and he's down inside the 10. Low snap, Boykin again, in trouble, wrapped up by Reynolds. Going today, he's not for total offense right. in, this, in this season, total yards. Lavaris Jackson, going to lose a little yardage there. And now how smart is the decision to go ahead and punt yes. and rely on your defense? Knowing they've played big for you all year long. Victor Simmons forced. They go stretch play. Green trying to get to the edge. My right, defense, if they don't get it, then they can stop the KU offense. Well, we may find out. Let's see. It's off.